okay girls uh, next disorder is asthma so asthma uh, which is known as dama so uh, you are well familiar with this disorder asthma is basically the inflammation or swelling in the walls of bronchi and bronchioles so or you can say that this is chronic inflammatory disorder of airways the chronic inflammation causes an increase in the airway hyper responsiveness that leads to recurrent episodes of wheezing breathlessness chest tightness and cough particularly at night or early in the morning uh during an attack of asthma the walls of bronchi and bronchioles they swell and their inner passage where it is reduced so this passage where it is reduced if we compare this passage where to this that is normal lining normal amount of mucus but here in case the swollen lining is there Uh, lining is there and the excess mus mucus it is accumulated inside the passageway so muscles they got tighten and here the muscles are relaxed so this is the inflammatory condition in which the walls of bronchi and bronchioles they got swollen or you can say that it is reversible chronic obstructive lung disease characterized by recurrent episodes of wheezing chest tightness and coughing alternating with the periods of relatively normal breathing asthma symptoms occur spontaneously or may be triggered by allergen so environmental factors exercise cold air infections and stress they may be factors so that that can trigger the asthma it results in shortness of breath the patient experiences recurring attacks of shortness of breath wheezing wheezing is basically whistling sound when breathing out and coughing and chest tightness they are the common symptoms of asthma recurring episode mean the person he may get the attack again and again after 3 months after 4 weeks after 6 months so these are the recurring attacks of shortness of breath asthma is a chronic disease involving the respiratory system in which the airways occasionally constrict they become narrow become inflamed and are, are lined with excessive amount of mucus so often in response to one or more triggers we have discussed the triggers so the um, these may be the allergens pollens cold smoke and other chemical in the air that can trigger the asthma so you can see over here and this is normal airway and during the asthma symptoms narrowed airway limited air flow because it it is so narrow so the air it will it has it has the very uh, small passage way to uh, enter tightened muscles constrict they are narrowed muscles and they are very much tight and not relaxed here you can see that the muscles are relaxed and inflamed thickened air walls and this one is the mucus so the mucus that is very much thick here you can see the muscles and the airway the size that is very large size and here the size is very much reduced very small size for the inhalation of air so classification if we classified the asthma asthma as it is a complex disorder of the conducting airways that most simply can be classified as extrinsic and intrinsic so when the cause cause is external implying a definite external cause this is the extrin extrinsic asthma and intrinsic when no causative agent can be identified some internal cause so this is known as intrinsic the most frequent form has its onset in the childhood between the age of 3 and 5 years and may either worsen or improve during the adolescence so during the puberty so the symptoms they may uh, get worse or improve during the puberty
or the dead stage. Asthma, as it is the chronic inflammatory disease of airway that causes the airway hyper responsiveness, mucosal edema. Edema is the inflammation and redness and mucus production. So it is characterized by the chronic air inflammation and increased airway hyper responsiveness leading to symptoms of wheeze, whistling sound is produced, cough, chest tightness and shortness of breathing or dyspnea. So you can say that this is reversible disorder either spontaneously within no time or with the treatment. It can uh, treat its own within no time or it can be treated with some medicines with the use of medicine so patient with asthma may experience the symptom free periods when there are no symptoms alternating with the acute exacerbations uh, which last from minutes to hours or days means with acute uh, symptoms uh, like the wheezing like dyspnea like cough and uh, cough with the sputum so uh, these symptoms may be from minutes to uh, some hours are days and after that they disappear. So allergens, uh, upper respiratory tract, viral infections, they may be a cause of asthma, allergens, pollens, dust particles, exercise, cold air, sulfur dioxide drugs, beta blockers, aspirin, loprin, these are the uh, these may be cause of asthma. Stress is the main cause and irritants, household sprays, pants, fumes, perfume sprays, they may be cause of asthma. Symptoms, the most prominent symptom, the cough and during and the cough, it may be dry and in most cases it is the, uh, it produces the sputum. Wheezing, whistling sound when the person breathe in and breathe out, chest tightness, the muscles of chest, the walls of uh, bronchi and the bronchioles, they are not, not relaxed, they are very much tightened and shortness of breath is their condition of um, dyspnea, rapid breathing and tiredness. Again here the causes and if I have discussed uh, all of these causes but one is the genetic factors, family history, certain genes, it may be from your Gen genes it may be inherited disease from your forefathers and occupational exposure the metal salts wood and vegetable dust industrial chemicals and plastics there may be a source of pollution and this pollution it will lead to asthma food additives some sort of the chemicals they are uh, added in the food for um, as a stabilizer as the test enhancer so there may be a cause of asthma, gastroesophageal reflux disease. This is a type of uh, disease uh, in which the um, am high amount of acid is produced in the stomach and this lead it may be a cause of asthma. So we have discussed the type and um, it has two types extrinsic asthma and the intrinsic. Extrinsic asthma it is allergic and intrinsic it is not non-allergic mm, and the mixed asthma extrinsic and intrinsic occupational asthma the person who is working at some place where he uh, where there is a high ratio of dust particles fumes and some other pollutants so this is occupational drug induced uh, asthma mm, I have discussed the aspirin or the loprin induced asthma and NSAID NSAID induced asthma these are the uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as the Panadol, Ibuprofen, Brufen jo hai. Uh, we have discussed about the Brufen. So these are the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. They are mostly used for uh, uh, lowering the symptoms of headache, uh, body ache, muscle ache and they are given to the uh, patient to reduce the symptoms of headache and muscle ache to reduce the inflammation in the body. Exercise induced asthma. During the exercise, sometimes the person get attacks of asthma. Cough variant asthma. 
and very common is especially in children cough variant mean different type of cough they have been observed in the children again exhaust fumes perfumes oxidants and cigarette smoke these may be the air pollutants and viral upper respiratory infection sinusitis exercise and cold dry air and stress drug aspirin and nsaids and beta adri beta adrenergic blockers these are the drugs that may be a cause of asthma and the main cause of asthma is the stress so it, here the asthma, asthma triggers the smoke strong odors uh, pollution anger stress pets exercise pollens bugs chemical fumes cold air and fungus spores they are the sources from where the one can get this type of asthma so when asthma patients inhale such allergens they may suffer an attack of symptoms of asthma asthma patients they are given the short term treatments if we talk about the treatments they are given the short term treatments they use the medicines which contain chemicals to dilate the bronchioles so such bronchodilators are given in form of inhalers i have already told you about inhalers inhalers they are the medications which are used to relax the muscles of bronchi and the muscles of walls of bronchi are the bronchioles and they uh, due to the uh, spray of these inhalers the muscles they got relaxed and there is enough space in the area of bronchi and bronchioles so they widen that area and from where the air can easily pass and uh, due to the use of these inhalers so one can get relief from this asthma so this is all about the asthma thank you girls if you have any query any problem you can discuss